What does Ferrari expect from the near future in Formula One? This question brings a multitude of considerations. Recent history suggests that Red Bull will win again in the 2024 championship. At least this seems to be the most accredited scenario, as the Milton Keynes team still boasts a certain performance advantage and, above all, is accustomed to winning. They have a highly prepared team and carry with them all the know-how of legendary car designer Adrian Newey, even though he is no longer practically part of the team. All of this still makes the Austrian side the benchmark in Formula One. Moreover, Red Bull has yet to present a substantial update package. The change with the modular cooling system has not brought time advantages, as the direct involved have made known. Meanwhile, other small modifications to the floor do not seem to have boosted the competitive level of the RB20 single-seater. This is confirmed by the last three rounds of the 2024 Formula One World Championship, where Max Verstappen won only at the Imola circuit, being defeated by Lando Norris's McLaren MCL38 in the Miami Grand Prix and Charles Leclerc's Ferrari SF24 car in the recent Grand Prix on the streets of the Principality. We have repeatedly talked about Red Bull's difficulties. The RB20 car suffers on the front end when the track requires a shift of the center of pressure to the rear. Moreover, when the ground clearances are not those predetermined by design, a necessary measure to tackle certain layouts, the advantage of the downforce developed by the car over its rivals vanishes. Not to mention the curb issue, which has shown that the blue racing-colored cars fail to maximize performance when the curbs are high and numerous. Then there is the simulator issue, as there is a certain imbalance between the hypothetical field and the real one. The Dutch Formula One world champion has pointed this out, as has the head of Red Bull's driver development program, Helmut Marko. The 81-year-old Austrian director clings to the talent of the Dutchman in this moment of downturn, hoping that the creativity of Max Verstappen can somehow help until the currently reigning F1 world champion team resolves the issues by bringing various new features to the RB20, potentially adding value to his Red Bull to still beat the rather fierce rivals. Ferrari team principal Frederick Vasseur is very well aware of all these factors previously mentioned. His fear at this moment is that the Marinello team might get carried away by euphoria and lose focus, which in Formula One cannot happen if the goal is to always provide the best version of themselves. For this reason, the Ferrari leader does not let up and preaches concentration. Thinking you are at the top is negative because it intrinsically means you cannot reach higher. The Marinello team therefore fully intends to continue along the learning curve. The areas where further improvements can be made are basically all-encompassing. There isn't a single aspect that can't be improved because in Formula One, every minor detail can make a difference and unlock potential in other areas of the team, especially when the gaps are very small, as is currently the case between Red Bull, Ferrari, and McLaren. In the last two races, for example, we saw the active integration of Brian Bosey during the sessions. A truly fitting addition. No offense to Xavi Marcos, Charles Leclerc's former race engineer, but the preparation, communication style, solidity, and confidence on the radio are very noticeable, an upgrade that few expected after six rounds of the 2024 Formula One Championship. With a broader perspective, we can undoubtedly confirm, also from what we saw firsthand in Monaco, that a change in mentality within the Marinello team has taken place. There is aggressiveness, willingness to take risks, and a strong awareness of their capabilities, which greatly helps in achieving the target set. Moreover, as we have pointed out several times by observing the onboard footage of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, it was noticeable from the first round of the year that there was a desire to maximize the race, even if this means paying something in terms of qualifying pace. This is because points are scored on Sunday, obviously. The different working methodology compared to 2023 involves validating the setup during the first free practice session without thinking about the single lap or qualifying in general an approach that has progressively paid off, especially in the last races of the Formula One World Championship. Without a doubt, the setup is still missing in some areas, as this working context has somehow sacrificed part of the performance in the qualifying sessions. Therefore, according to the information gathered, we know that the next step for Ferrari is to devise a strategy for both qualifying and the race, continuing the work on the race while enhancing performance on Saturday. This measure is imperative given the current values on track. When three teams are so close, divided by a tenth of performance or slightly more with a high amount of fuel on board, it's clear that the starting position can largely determine the final result. Moreover, 
in this wing car Formula One era, we have understood that such close gaps in pace often do not allow overtaking during the race. Scuderia Ferrari is therefore working on this through a precise study of the work plan that should already be implemented in the upcoming race weekend, the Canadian Grand Prix, which is scheduled to take place at the 4.361-kilometer circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal. Finally, to answer the question from the beginning of the video, we can say with certainty that for the near future in Formula One, Ferrari expects to make further improvements. This involves a combination of various factors, including updates for the SF24 car, refining track work techniques, optimizing the current aerodynamic package through setup, and last but not least, mental strength. This last characteristic is essential for maintaining maximum concentration in order to achieve the goals set before each race weekend. Looking ahead to the Canadian Grand Prix, based on some predictions from Paddock Insiders, McLaren could be favorite for this upcoming round at the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. McLaren has thoroughly studied the Montreal track and the team is also firmly convinced it can beat its rivals. The driver in the loop simulations confirm this. They aim to take advantage of Red Bull's current struggles with setup, while compared to Ferrari, McLaren will try to leverage its energy recovery support, which, combined with low drag, allows the MCL38 to be extremely fast on high-speed sections while generating a good amount of downforce. McLaren currently has a very fast Formula One car, the work done by the Woking technicians on the MCL38 has impressed everyone in the series. The British car has a very solid and consistent base, on which an increasingly competitive future is being built. Interestingly, the English team can be defined as a customer team, since unlike a manufacturer, it buys its power unit from another team. We are talking about the Mercedes power unit, which works wonderfully in the papaya-colored car, unlike in the W15, where it struggles with heat dissipation. With the new direction of the team led by Andrea Stella, things have changed. At the beginning of his tenure as team principal, the engineer from Orvieto was very candid. He had warned that the start of the F1 season would be problematic, as they were far behind due to their decision to completely change concepts. This move has indeed paid off. In mid-2023, a significant update package was introduced, which drastically improved the MCL 60. The McLaren car quickly climbed the rankings thanks to the great efforts of the technicians and engineers, giving the F1 car a clear identity. In the 2024 Formula One campaign, McLaren started strong, and in the Miami Grand Prix, during the sixth race of the ongoing championship, they introduced the first major aerodynamic update package. This included a significant reshaping of the side pods in order to enhance the outwash produced by the MCL 38 and significantly improve aerodynamic efficiency an issue the English car had since the previous championship. An effective move that successfully translated simulator data onto the track.